everyone, Matsuo here, or Marjorie. Um, for this video, I'm currently using my new microphone that I got off of Amazon. Its name is like Tone or something, and I will include it in the link below if you're interested. Um, but I hope the audio is a little bit better. It's not the most expensive microphone, such as like a Blue Yeti or um, some of the other really great uh, cam ones. I think they're like microphone cam names. There's some great YouTube videos that like cover um, some other ones. But I wanted something more affordable and I wanted to see like where this could get me. And this had good reviews um, off of Amazon. So I wanted to try it out. And I'm not 100% sure if the audio sounds a little bit better. Um, it has a, my microphone has a pop filter, so it's like this black, like, fuzzy thing you've probably seen on microphones before, and that's to help block out, like, any sound of, like, whispering or, like, I guess lip smacking that I might do. I think it, like, prevents that a little bit compared to my computer audio, but it sounds pretty much, like, the same to my computer audio, unfortunately. Um, here, I'll show you right now. Hello, testing one, two, three. This is the audio of the microphone from my computer. It's either that the microphone of my newer computer is either really great or the microphone I got isn't so great because I bought it for cheaper. I bought it for about 40 bucks with tax. So yeah, and the huge difference is that when I record through the microphone, um, like the one I bought, I have to increase the audio a lot but when I do it through my computer, it sounds really loud. But anyways, returning to the audio of the microphone I purchased, I think it's better after I use the audio button of diminishing the background noise in iMovie. But if you think it's better or worse, please let me know in the comments down below. And getting back to the topic of the video, I made my like mermaid Sona version of Blonde Espresso because I work as a barista for a coffee shop and Blonde Espresso is one of my favorite components of um, espresso drinks. And if you're not familiar with what espresso is, it's essentially like highly concentrated um, like coffee so that way it's really strong and caffeinated and it's a much smaller quantity, it's not drip coffee. Uh, like where you put the grinds and pour water through, but it's like highly much more concentrated. Um, and cafes will always vary in what they offer and how they do things just due to the different equipment and the menu they may have. Um, but for my coffee shop that I work for, um, we have three, three kinds of beans that we use for our espresso machine. And it's blonde espresso, signature espresso, which is also just referred to as regular espresso, and then there's decaf. Decaf, um, as you might be familiar with it, is decaffeinated, and usually uh, pregnant customers or customers who have um, some like health conditions or want to overview, like want to be careful with their caffeine intake, will select decaf because they want that caffeinated taste, but they don't want caffeine. Um, like, they don't want to intake caffeine, but um, regular espresso will be like regular, like a tad bit rich and acidic, and blonde espresso will be even more caffeinated than um, regular espresso, but it will be creamy and rich and like a tad bit sweeter. And there's a few different ways that you can pull the espresso shots as well when you choose um, from the different beans. So there's three different kinds of ways espresso shots can be pulled depending on the machine and from my experience of working at the store I do. And those three kinds of ways are updosed, long shot, and ristretto. Ristretto essentially means that less water will be run through the coffee grinds to make it a little bit more sweeter and extra caffeinated. And because of that, a lot of people will have a tendency to ask for blonde espresso to be pulled ristretto um, because they pair really well together since blonde espresso beans tend to be more caffeinated and ristretto um, like really pulls that like caffeinated taste out of the blonde espresso by putting less water through the grinds. 
And in the machine, uh, those rinds are shaped kind of like a brownie. So you'll hear a lot of baristas jokingly say or refer to it as an espresso brownie. And the two other ways, which are updosed and long shot, are kind of like opposites of each other. Updosed, similar to its name, means that the espresso shot will also come out more caffeinated, but have a, a richer, more acidic taste, like similar to regular espresso, because updosed will run the water not once, but twice through the same coffee grinds to like double that like caffeinated taste. It's not super common. Usually people tend to order ristretto more than updosed, but it is an option. And long shot, um, like the opposite of updosed, essentially means that there will be more water run through the coffee grinds, diluting the espresso shots, and like giving a, a greater amount of liquid when the espresso shots come out. And it's for people who who are not a huge fan of the coffee taste, but still want caffeine to wake them up, um, and so on. Not every cafe will have the ability to pull espresso shots a certain way, and they may also not serve blonde. I know a lot of them do tend to serve decaf um, because they want to cater to a lot of people's needs of not wanting to have caffeine in their diet due to pre-existing conditions um, or whatever concerns they may have with it. Um, and there's also a variety of different espresso machines because some will be more mechanical and some will be like more expensive and do more of the work for you because they're more technologically advanced. I prefer looking at videos with the more mechanical espresso machines because I feel like there's more of an art to um, like how you press the espresso, how you grind it, and everything to it. Whereas um, some other more expensive uh, espresso machines, which is usually the one I work with, makes the job a lot more efficient um, and quicker. But there's not as much emphasis on craftsmanship, in my opinion. Um, and I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a coffee master. I just like, I feel like I know like just the very basics about coffee in terms of espresso and steaming milk and so on. There's a lot of other great YouTubers who specialize way more in coffee, such as Morgan Drinks Coffee. You should definitely check out her YouTube channel. It's very cool. And there's plenty of other um, excellent YouTube videos that express the art of um, latte making and espresso drinks and what goes into making a high quality craftsmanship beverage. I sometimes feel like the, the world of coffee is way bigger than some people might imagine because um, there's French press, there's cold brew, there's all these like fancy items you could purchase to really make high quality coffee to experiment with. Um, and you know, of course there's like a whole other world of tea that I'm still not yet familiar with. Um, uh, if you, you've probably come across some TikTok videos where people make um, interesting beverages, especially people in Korea and cafes such as uh, purple or blue drinks with butterfly PT and so on. Um, which is really cool, and I encourage everyone to check out a local cafe that's probably family-owned because um, not only are you supporting your local community, but you can also see like even more different and diverse kinds of beverages you may not have known previously, and um, if like it's all usually always a great um, environment to either study, listen to music, or draw. And for this piece that I made for the speed paint, I originally liked the line art better than the final product because I felt like I couldn't get the darker skin tone right. I used Faber-Castell colored pencils, not the Paul Chromos one, but there wasn't like a huge range of brown pencils I had and I don't have a greater or a better understanding of darker skin tones. So I feel like if I did and if I maybe had the creamier Prismacolor ones that I've originally worked with in the past, I could have rendered that a bit better. 
but um, otherwise I did this for fun and I hope I can learn how to do better skin tones in the future. I just realized I was audio recording my microphone backwards the whole time so that's great but I've redone this audio too many times to redo it so here we are and this is the final product of my work um, if you prefer videos like these with music in the background please let me know but otherwise, thanks for um, chiming in and have a great day.